Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is a general energy reading for the day of Wednesday, November 13th, 2018. This is not love, gender, or sign specific. This is just a general reading for the day. So please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Uh, yeah. Um, so I know many of you so some of you said that you couldn't really hear me in yesterday's video. Um, so I don't have a microphone, uh, but also I can't speak too loudly because it is six in the morning right now <laughs> and I do have roommates and neighbors, so I can't make too much noise. So I'm going to do my best, but it may be better to um, use some headphones uh, while you listen because then that way you'll be able to hear me easier, yes? Otherwise, unfortunately, I can't do much else about it. Um, I need to be respectful to, uh, you know, my neighbors and my roommates who don't necessarily get up as early as I do. Yes, and I did mention this before, but because a, a, a few of you mentioned that you couldn't really hear me too well yesterday, I figured I would say something. Yeah? Um, okay, so general energy reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This does not have to resonate right now. This could resonate with you further down the road, uh, maybe a few days from now, a, new, a, a few weeks from now. May not resonate with you at all. Either way, um, just, you know, settle, settle in, grab your coffee, and I'm sure we can find something to talk about. Yes? <laughs> okay, excellent. Alrighty, guys. So, let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please bring forward the best messages for the day of Wednesday, November 13th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys. So, I'm seeing yellow, and I'm also seeing blue as a dominant color. Now, yellow being the color of willpower or the solar plexus, blue being the color of the throat chakra. Yellow is like the sun, is, um, is vibrancy, uh, excitement, exuberance. Like I said, willpower, drive, Expansion is what I'm hearing. Blue is also the color of communication. I feel like some of you are drumming up some sort of drive, some sort of willpower, maybe some sort of plan of action when it comes to communication. I'm getting a bit of a motivational speaking vibe, too. I don't know who that's for. Um, hmm. there, I did see green at one point while I was channeling the energy. Um, it, and it was interesting because normally when I'm channeling for the collective, I really only see the colors of the lower chakras. But now I'm seeing, I literally saw it go from yellow to green to blue. Um, and so for me, that is indicative of energies moving up, you know, the chakra system. So some of you may actively be working on clearing out your higher centers, your higher chakras, uh, chakras which, is, which is really great. Um, and I feel like I want to say the goal right now is to clear out the throat chakra. This is about speaking your truth, um, communicating clearly, concisely, honestly, um, communicating from a more authentic, authentic place. So many of you could be working on clearing out your throat chakra right now. And that is beautiful. That can be a little bit tumultuous. <laughs> I mean, clearing out any chakra could be tumultuous, but I just feel like that one, for some reason, speaking your truth is a really difficult thing in this day and age, you know, these times. So, um, 
you know, that could be causing a little bit of turmoil. I feel like some of you could be speaking your truth to family, mainly parents. I don't know why I just saw that. Uh, standing up for yourselves in some way. I mean, we are. Oh, God. <laughs> we are coming up on the holiday season. You know, Thanksgiving is not too far away. I mean, it is November 13th. Thanksgiving is like, what, next week? No, two weeks from now? Uh, pff, shh, yeah, already. Um, but this is that time of the year where families, families get together and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why I just saw that, but some of you might be, you know, bringing some truths to family, um, yeah, uh, what is the word? Uh, standing your ground, you know. That's for some of you. Okay. Okay. Let me give it one more shovel. And then we're going to get into it. But this is will... Uh, next, see, because now I'm seeing yellow. And I'm getting there's some sort of willpower to stand up for yourselves. It doesn't have to be only to family. It could be in any way, okay? And standing up for yourself really could just be maintaining your autonomy and your integrity and... Uh, in, uh, oh God, my brain's not working too well this morning. <laughs> um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, authenticity, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's do this, guys. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, okay, we've got the Empress. Oh, by the way, Venus is, we're only three days away from Venus going direct, guys. But here we have the Empress so far. Wednesday, November 13th. Please, Spirit, best messages, please. For Wednesday, November 13th. Woo, that flew out. And we have it. All right. Underneath the deck is the Eight of Cups. Walking away. Yeah. She, yeah. We've got judgment here. We've got the Nine of Cups. We've got the Six. Uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> We've got the Six of Cups. We've got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is did come out in reverse. We've got the Page of Pentacles. And we've got... Good Lord. We've got the Emperor. And the Emperor is in reverse. Alright, so we've got counterparts here. My, my, my. All right, so there is an energy of walking away from something right now. Okay, you do have the Eight of Cups underneath the deck. And we've got the Empress here. And what I'm hearing is walking towards greener pastures. Okay. Oh, give me a second. I'm just, um, I'm channeling this message right now. We do have the counterparts, okay? And this is, to me, the Empress and the Emperor in this reading are talking about the masculine and the feminine, all right? The masculine has been really going through some serious stuff lately. And you don't have to be, I know I'm a twin flame reader, I'm a twin flame guide, blah, 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 I'm a twin flame myself, whatever. That's just a freaking label, like, I don't give a shit <laughs> anymore. But, um, but, but the, the reason why I say that is because we all have these masculine and feminine energies within. So it's not just those of us who are on the twin flame journey, or at least resonate with the twin flame journey, that are going through these situations. 
everybody is going to be going through them if eventually, all right? But so far, Twin Flames have gotten there, light, uh, light workers have gotten there, star seeds, blah, blah, blah. But now the whole collective is starting to get into the situation, little by little, all right? So this is not just a Twin Flame situation. Just want to throw that out there. But those that resonate more with the masculine side of things have been really going through a lot. Uh, what's happening here is there is a situation in which people are hearing, are starting to hear the call, y'all, with judgment. They're starting to hear the call. And that call is calling them to pursue that which is their wish fulfillment, that which would be their, their dreams, their goals, what it is they truly wanted to do with their life, okay? And these are things that are, that are deeply rooted in the past, maybe even past lives, but also from childhood, like childhood dreams, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Now, the Queen of Wands is here in reverse. And for some reason, I'm feeling like that's a, this is a mother type figure. I don't know why I'm, I'm just, I'm getting that. What I'm hearing is it's someone that's overprotective of their children. And you wouldn't normally get that with the Queen of Wands. Normally you would probably get that with like say, the Queen of Pentacles. But it's coming through as the Queen of Wands. This is a, just for a select few of you. I'm gonna look into this more to see who, what else this resonates as. But for today, for this reading, what I'm picking up with the Queen of Wands is someone who is very protective of their children. They're very passionate about it. It's, but it's almost like it's someone that, almost like a light worker, someone that um, leads the way, carries a torch, tries to be inspirational in some way. Someone is leaving that behind. Someone is not allowing. That okay, so it doesn't have to necessarily be a mother figure. It could be anyone that is a mentor, a light worker, okay? This could be you also. It doesn't have to be a mother, but that was pretty specific. Somebody has somebody has like a parental figure or someone that they look up to that could like could be a mother. And <laughs> they're not taking someone's not taking their advice or guidance anymore with the eight of cups it's it, and with the page of pentacles here it's like you are starting your own adventure by your own means okay you're making your own way of it and this is mainly a, a masculine energy And if you don't really resonate, if you resonate more as feminine, um, this would be your masculine aspect. Uh, this could be your masculine aspect going through this, this almost like a transformation, really. Taking control of your life, taking your power back, in a sense. Very interesting. I think I want to get straight into the clarifiers here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Um, but yeah, give me a second. I just want to... I just want to um, sit with this for a second. Wish fulfillment is coming through, guys. But it's coming through when you walk away from something, when you leave something behind. Um, and with the Empress crowning the reading, okay, this does have to do, I mean, this could definitely talk about Venus retro, Venus being in retrograde. With the Emperor in reverse, it talks about, you just, normally the Emperor is in control of the situation is is the master of their domain the in if the emperor in reverse it could be someone who's being overly controlling or it could be someone that does, that 
is lacking control of the situation. And there's definitely been an energy of the, the universe being in the driver's seat at the moment, right? And the Queen of Wands is a cardinal energy. So this is like Aries energy, if you're a fire sign, if we're talking about a fire sign. This is someone that goes after, you know, is a go-getter, goes what they want, go, go, <laughs> goes after what they want. So for some of you, this really could be about hearing the call to allow the universe to help you bring forward what you want by just going with the flow, not trying to control the situation with the emperor. That's a message for another part of you, a, a, a group of you. And that's a, that's a recurring theme. That's exactly what we've been talking about lately is allowing the universe to drive at the moment. Just because there's so much going on within the energies, you know what I mean? But then also, for some of you, there is an energy of, you know, not allowing someone else to control. I'm really, like, stuck. My, my, my vision, my scope, my view is right here with the Emperor in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's almost as if I feel like everything on the read in this reading right now is re revolving around these two central figures, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, both being in reverse. And it's funny because the Emperor talks about Aries energy. So does the Queen of Wands. King of Wands is Leo energy. Sagittarius would be the Knight of Wands. You have two cards of Aries, and actually the Empress can, can, can speak to Aries energy too. But more specifically, the Emperor is Aries, and so is the Queen of Wands. So it's almost as if, and okay, and so I'll relate to this right now. I am an Aries sun, and I'm very much removing myself from the driver's seat and just letting the universe bring things together on my behalf. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not taking, not doing anything. I'm still working on maintaining my vibration within the situation and making sure that I'm in alignment with what it is I, des I desire to manifest, but I'm really not in the driver's seat right now, <laughs> you know? So, okay. That's for, that's for another group of you. But I'm also still getting that there are some of you that are taking control and taking your power back by not allowing someone, someone else to sway you, not allowing someone else to guide you any longer. It's like you're finally standing up to this person and saying, oh, no, I just don't want to do that anymore. Walking away from this reality that used to be with the Eight of Cups. And starting anew with the Page of Pentacles. Yes? And this is all in service of your dreams, your goals, what it is you've been wanting to manifest for some time, right? With the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups. Okay? Um, I really feel like there's definitely some inner child healing, like healing too that's happening, which is being facilitated by the Empress. Okay. I want to start with the Queen of Wands. We're going to clarify the Queen of Wands first. Okay. Queen of Wands, please, please clarify. Yeah, that's funny, because I was going to say the Queen of Wands, maybe, and the Emperor, too, maybe, and this card fell out on both. Let's see, let's see. Queen of Wands is here. All right, we've got the Seven of Cups. Underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. 
So this is definitely like what I was saying. This is speaking your truth. This is speaking your integrity, your honesty. And this is cutting something out. It's like, look, this doesn't serve me anymore. This isn't this isn't who I am anymore. We've got the Six of Wands. Now, pride and ego, yes. But this is very much an energy of taking your power back. These two cards right here, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands, both in reverse, are like a cornerstone of this reading right now. It's like all of the energy is hinging on this energy right here. Okay. This is not letting... Not letting this energy control you anymore. The Seven of Cups and the Six of Wands. So there's going to... There's a victory here that's coming when you take your power back. When you Queen of Swords that shit. The Seven of Cups. To me, the Seven of Cups is talking, is, is, is dreaming, is wishing, is seeing all the possibilities out there. I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands energy is, for some of you, she's very stifling. You know? And... This could be a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. Okay, this is just the energy. This is a cardinal energy. Okay, this is someone that's very influential, very popular, very charismatic, but she can be very narcissistic. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting with the fact that she's in reverse, especially with the emperor in reverse. Okay. I really feel like there's some sort of victory when you walk away from this person. And with the seven of cups, it's like dreaming of all of the possibilities when you remove yourself from this energy. All of the different things that I can do when I don't have so-and-so breathing down my neck, telling me what's right and what's wrong, instead of just letting me live that for myself. That kind of energy. That's for some of you. Let's, um, I'm going to clarify the Emperor next. Emperor, please, Spirit. Let's clarify the Emperor. Ooh. Oh, 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 look at that. There's that Page of Swords. There's that Page of Swords. Let's clarify one more, please, Spirit. There we go. And we've got... Whoa! Oh man! Alright, so the Queen of Swords is underneath the deck. Still. And look at what popped out to clarify the Emperor in reverse. None other than the Page of Swords with the Emperor in reverse. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so... Here's the deal. Here's the deal, y'all. This is definitely that masculine energy, okay? Could be someone that you might be connecting with, with the Six of Cups here. I really feel like um, they're watching you, someone. They're observing. They're trying to get some sort of clarity, some sort of inner truth I'm hearing, okay? Uh, learning though, learning how to be a bigger and better person, learning how to take more control over your life, especially in the face of someone that was very controlling with the Queen of Wands. Again, this is a motherly figure, some sort of authority, okay? And someone is really starting new, starting afresh, starting over with the Page of Pentacles. This is something that you've been called to for some time. Because you have judgment here. All right? And this is all in service of wish fulfillment. Maybe even a deep soulmate connection here. Okay? Okay? 
I'm getting an energy of whoever this is, symbolized by the emperor. You're learning to be the master of your domain right now. You're learning to take control over your life in the face of adversity. And with the Queen of Wands, which is right next to it, I'm feeling an energy of just desiring to be free, especially with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Wands. There's like, there's this desire for freedom. Freedom to be able to choose for yourself and not have to take the advice of this other person that doesn't really understand you to begin with. Doesn't really know what you truly want in life. Maybe because you never really told them. You were never really that honest with them about it. You kind of just, I feel like you kind of just like molded yourself to be successful or to be successful or acceptable to them. But the Six of Wands here is saying that a little bit. And that's pride and ego based. And it's not really a true victory. Your true victory comes from integrity, authenticity, and autonomy. Yes. Next. Next we're going to clarify. Clarify. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. Okay, well, ooh, you see? All right, there you go. Underneath the deck you have justice. So I'm saying, some of you are really taking your power back. You've got the seven of pentacles. To me, this is a harvest card, all right? Reaping what you've sown. There's an energy of understanding what happened in the past, how you've gotten to where you are now and what you need to do to get to where you want to go in the future. Oh my goodness. Can I get an amen on this one? So wanting to get somewhere in the future. Eight of pentacles with the 10 of cups. So doing the work. Okay. Look, you went from the seven to the eight. You went, <laughs> that's so cool. Um, so in, in releasing yourself from whatever situation, You are, some of you, someone, and I really feel like it's this masculine energy here. This could be any of you. This, this could be, even if you are resonating more with feminine energy, this could be you um, taking your power back or working through your masculinity. This could be some sort of healing that's happening within your masculinity, with like your inner masculine, yes? Um But there's some sort of life review that's happening here. There is definitely an energy of taking your power back. But this is this is understanding the harvest that you're receiving at this moment, looking forward towards the future to see what you want, what harvest you want to experience down the line. And then doing the work to achieve that, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. And what do you want? Ten of Cups. This is ultimate, ultimate emotional fulfillment. This came out yesterday. I believe. Yes, it did. This is, this is doing the work, putting forth the effort. I'm here to, to have the family of your dreams to have the emotional situation of your dreams, the love life of your dreams. Doing the actual work. And I, I, I wanna say, I just wanna clear something up here. I'm not saying that this, and this person who is represented by the Queen of Wands is a bad person. She's overpowering, overpowering and overbearing, sure. But she's not necessarily a bad person. For some of you, it is someone that can be a little narcissistic. Now, how strongly narcissistic is debatable. It's a general reading, okay? So we're dealing with all areas of the spectrum. Uh, 
I don't remember where I was going. <laughs> Give me a second. But this, this is, but this is an energy of putting forward the work towards what it is you truly desire. Because look, this is this, the, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups is clarifying the Page of Pentacles. And I told you, someone is starting on a new, embarking on a new journey, and that new journey is towards what they truly desire, what you or they truly desire, in emotions, in emotional reality, emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. This is very much about family too. Because look at that. You've got a mother, a father, and a child right there. That's such a beautiful card. It's so cute. But I feel, I really feel like this Queen of Wands has held you or someone else back from this. Next thing I want to do is clarify judgment here. But underneath the deck, clarifying the Page of Pentacles is justice. And what is this justice? Autonomy. Independence. Choosing for yourself, honoring your integrity instead of allowing someone else to choose for you, to, inf to heavily influence your decision, okay? We're going to clarify judgment now. Please, please clarify judgment, please. Spirit, judgment, please. Yeah, look at that. The Eight of Cups again. And the Eight of Cups fell on the Nine of Cups. Underneath the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Ah, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles underneath the deck. So some of you could be walking towards a queen of pentacles. This is more motherly energy. This is more of a motherly figure. But this is diff this is separate from this queen of wands, okay? She's definitely wifey material. But with judgment here, we have the 9 of pentacles in reverse. And the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups fell out first, and that fell right on the Nine of Cups. So it, it's like someone is walking away, is walking towards their wish fulfillment. And that wish fulfillment comes in no longer being a bachelor or a bachelorette. No longer being single. There is a call towards this. There is a call to make a move towards this, okay? I'm not saying it's going to happen today. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. What I'm saying is the energies, the, the judgment here, this is clarifying judgment. Um, there is a call to action to take steps towards leaving the bachelor life behind, to leaving, not be, no longer being single, walking towards someone who is very nurturing, very loving, very caring, someone that could be, you know, the mother of your children. Um, your future wife, you maybe even your future husband. That kind of energy. Okay, we do have the Nine of Cups and we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups talking about soulmates, someone from your past. Venus is in retrograde is very much facilitating this with the Empress at the crowning the reading, okay? I do want to clarify the nine of cups. Clarify. Nine of cups, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nine of cups, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aha, see? Aha! Okay. Four of cups is in reverse. Seven of swords. Underneath the deck is death, transformation. Um, but this, with the Seven of Swords here, you know, things are still kind of hidden, still kind of secret. I'm not really getting any, any sort of like backstabbing or anything. It's just that there's a transformation that's happening. Um, 
so uh, with the four, there's a transformation that's happening, but it's happening in secret. Someone's not really talking about it, and it could be, and it really could be connected to this energy of the emperor with the page of swords. Okay, emperor being in reverse, and the page of swords. So with the four of cups in reverse, someone is no longer really um, rejecting an opportunity. It's like they're looking to take action now, but they're still not necessarily talking about it. <laughs> it's a big transformation. That's really changing a lot of things for this person or for you, right? All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clarify <laughs> the Six of Cups just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Since we've clarified everything else on the, <laughs> on the table, let's see what we've got for the Six of Cups. Please clarify. All right, so connected to the Empress energy, the sun is in reverse. Ooh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, I'm going to take it. Underneath the deck is still death. Death is still underneath the deck, so this is a big transformation. Okay, we've got the sun, which is in reverse. We've got the Two of Wands in reverse. We've got Justice, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Wands. So we've got some counterparts here. Now. The Two of Wands and the Sun. I'm just going to do it this way. The Sun fell here at the Nine of Cups. The Two of Wands fell here at the Empress. Both of these are in reverse. So, with the Two of Wands in reverse, it's saying that someone has recently come to a decision or is, going, is about to make a decision on something. Now, we were talking about clarifying the Six of Cups here. This is a soulmate connection. You have this counterpart with the King of Wands. Oh. Well, I'm seeing something else here. In the Queen of Wands. But with the Six of Cups, this masculine energy, the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Injustice, um, someone has made a decision. Someone is or is actively making a decision um, to serve their highest good. It's very much in the Queen of Swords energy. Like, look, if this doesn't serve me anymore, I'm hearing if this keeps me from my soulmate, I don't want it in my life. Okay, King of Wands is, a, is masculine energy. It's fixed energy. This is Leo. Could be, could be dealing with Leo. But, but anyway... Under, you know, underneath the surface here, because there's a lot of hidden energy between the Sun in reverse, um, with the Seven of Swords. The, the Sun in reverse and the Seven of Swords is saying that things are much better than you think. Don't worry about it. You just can't really see too clearly right now. It's probably the Sun is here. The Sun is shining, but it's probably a little cloudy. But there's a masculine energy here that is making a decision that has probably made a decision already, and is moving towards greater justice. For themselves. Autonomy, I'm hearing. With the Six of Cups. There's also, now if this does not, if this isn't a love situation for you, this is someone that's really just taken their control, taking control, taking their power back, and is moving forward. The other scenario that I was getting with the Queen of Wands here is this counterpart, and we were talking about the Six of Cups. So this counterpart here in the Queen of Wands has kind of left the situation and is now, it is now exploring their options with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Wands because they want to be victorious. They victorious. They want to be happy. You know, they want to have their success. I wanted to say they want to have their cake and eat it too. There could be some of you that are out there kind of running game like that. I would be careful 
don't uh, again don't tell don't let me tell you what to do but you know I'm not in the business of advising people to generate negative karma for themselves. Mm. <laughs> um, and now because because this Queen of Wands energy has kind of like dipped out in some scenarios, because this Queen of Wands has kind of dipped out here, now the Emperor is all up in the fields and it's like, well, wait, well, wait, well, wait, what do I do now with the Queen with the Page of Swords and is trying to watch, is spying a little. But this is. For those of you that are resonating on this level, what I'm picking up here is that this person that is watching you is seeking guidance, is trying to understand how you got it so good, how you are can be so strong and independent and just do your own thing and not and not give a shit what other people say. In essence, they're learning from you. And this is something that came out yesterday. This could be that same masculine energy that's learning to take their power back and is seeing you for who you truly are, especially now that you are kind of walking away or separating from the situation in some way. And it's kind of like, well, damn, how do I, I want to do that? I want to be that strong. I want to be that powerful. That's for some of you, okay? All right. We're going to get some oracle guidance from the unicorns today. Alrighty, guys. Let's see what the unicorns have for us today. Best messages, peace, spirit for November 13th. This beautiful Wednesday. It is hump day. Best messages, peace, spirit. Growth. Oh my god, I was literally just talking about this. Okay, underneath the deck is flow. Find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. And we have growth. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. I mean, I literally was just talking about that. That's kind of awesome. This page of swords with the emperor in reverse here, this does not feel bad to me at all. It feels like someone is actually stepping into their own power and is learning to do better for themselves on their own without the guidance of this queen of wands, whoever this queen of wands energy is. she's This energy that I'm feeling from this queen of wands is intrusive. It's a know-it-all. It's someone that's, you know, really charismatic is probably very accomplished. But just because you're accomplished doesn't mean that you can run around telling everybody what to do and what not to do. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have all the knowledge in the world. Like, pull it back a little. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Very overpowering. And this, if this is like a mother to you, I mean, I understand. She, she loves you. She's just trying to help. But at the same time, you're a grown-ass man. You're a grown-ass woman. You have the right to do what it is you want to do. To live your life the way you want to live it. Not the way someone else tells you. And for some of you, there is someone in your life that you are now learning how to do this from. I mean, the Emperor is clarify the Emperor in Reverse is clarifying the Emperor in Reverse <laughs> with the Page of Swords. Alright? So this is straight up deep-rooted masculine energy. This is literally twisted masculinity turning itself around and untwisting itself, learning how to untwist itself. Okay. Woohoo! I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull one more. Actually, instead, let's go with the animal spirit oracle here. Just gonna get, I just wanna, I just wanna get one more card. One more card of guidance here. And then we're going to close the reading with the Whispers of Love. But one card, please, Spirit. Best message for today. Whoa. Aw, yeah. 
We got two. Ooh! Underneath the deck is dolphin. Hee <laughs> hee. I love dolphins. They're so pretty. Okay. Um, but we got deer and we got fish. So, let's go with fish first. I'm just going to do this real quick. Oops. Where are we? There you are. Fish. Restlessness. Change of focus. Lost in the current. The fish loves to be sub subsumed in life's current. Nothing pleases it, more, pleases, it, pleases it more than movement, movement, and more movement. The roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to weariness and slippery relationships. With all the possibilities out there, there is a va in the vast waters, the fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions. Spend some time with the lunar forces, dear fish, as the peace and calm of the moon will soothe your soul. So we could be talking about transformation, deep transformation that's happening with this full moon coming on November 22nd. And also, we have deer. Loving, intuitive, graceful, the mother. The mother. <laughs> the deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures, regardless of gender, but is especially potent in new parents. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing, and calm. Their inner beauty radiates in a sense of grace calms the room. A deer personality affects others in this way, drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The deer card may appear when a birth or celebration of new life draws near, or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. Yeah, both of those are cards about transformation. Um, and I, the, 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 the big message here that I'm getting is there could be some serious growth happening surrounding this full moon. And it may have, it probably started with the new moon. Um, there may have been some intentions planted, uh, maybe unbeknownst to your own self. Um, you may just, you may have just, you know, the, the, the new moon energy may have really just helped you identify what it is you want even more. And so now, as we move into the new, the full moon energy, you're gearing up to actually release this stuff that is keeping you from getting what it is you truly want with the nine of cups that's <laughs> buried underneath all this and there's there's major transformation happening with death here death is underneath the deck over here that death that came out clarifying the nine of cups and the six of cups i really feel like someone is getting ready is getting prepared Preparing themselves energetically and subsequently physically to be with a life partner in some cases for some of you that's just what it feels like right now and I just heard autonomy so someone you know is taking their own power back in order to be a counterpart and this is mainly on the masculine side but even if you are mostly feminine in nature, your masculine, inner masculine energies could be doing this right now, preparing for this right now. All right? Cool. So let's see. Closing message from the Whispers of Love. Closing message. Peace, spirit. Spe oh, speak the language of love. Underneath the deck is rest and rest. Uh, rest and relaxation is essential. So we're still in this Mercury, uh, sorry, well, Mercury is about to go retrograde, but we're still in this Venus retrograde energy. You might be feeling pretty tired, but um, speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Now, in the case of yourself, speaking these loving words could be standing up for yourself in the face of adversity. But always make sure to you know, speak as lovingly as possible. Yeah, try to put out the best vibes possible. All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much love to you. I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with, with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Bye.